guys. Uh, thought I'd give you a little. Uh, oh, fucking hiccups. I thought I'd give you an update on uh, what's been going on with me. I haven't been online in a while. That's because I was actually at a uh, week long fam family reunion, which was uh, interesting. And what I'm about to show you is some of the footage from that, which is going to be. Um, well, let's just say I really hope that none of my family actually comes across at any point because I might just get taken out of a few people's mouths. Oh, sorry, I do actually have the hiccups. It's horrible. But um, it was the first night that we all went out. It was when all of, all of the cousins got out and we all went out uh, binge drinking. First off, we ended up playing a, a drinking game which was uh, very fun, but it left us all a bit, well, let's just say in a, in a tizzy. But so we went out to one of the local bar bars where we went out. We had a few, well, more than a few, actually, a lot of alcohol because one of my cousins was from New York City. So when he found out that he could get four his Red Bull and vodka, he get four of those for under twenty dollars. He was just, he was amazed. I actually remember looking, looking at him and seeing the look of amazement on his face. But so the whole point is, he was just buying and getting more. But so, we all really hammered, and a few of us decided after the last call because we were there until they kicked us out. That's just, that's just how my family, how my family rolls. Some of us decided we we're going to go to the beach. We had rented a house that was about a block away from it. But so... Oh, that looks gay. <gasps> but so we got to the beach, we were hanging out, a couple of us jumped in the water, I was pretty much up to my ankles because I understood. I still had some semblance of sanity at, at this point. But so all of a sudden, Beach, pa beach Patrol shows up with their high-beamed little 4 by 4s fucking rent-a-cops. Uh, asked us what we were doing, and when they saw that we weren't A, skinny dipping, or, or B, uh, doing drugs or anything like that, they said that we should probably ju just leave, which we did. And it turns out that when we left, the cops, the Beach Haven cops, were actually parked at the beachfront. Like, they must have radioed them in to, you know, arrest us because God knows the beach patrol. <laughs> They aren't actual cops, they're more the concept of cops. But so it turns out that the real police were waiting for us there, and that when they realized that we weren't being arrested, we were just being let off, which was lucky on our part. They just turned around and started to go back towards Main Street. The problem is when they did, they ran into the other, I would say, seven to ten other relatives of mine that had stopped at the house before going to going to the beach and that some of them quite a few of them in fact were carrying bottles of alcohol and in some cases already opened and drinking bottles of alcohol Ooh. At first, cousin Kevin was actually the only one in question because he was up front and he threw us down he was going to get a he was going to get a ticket for littering. He was just giving the ticket, and according to him, the guy was just like, oh, I'm sorry, this is how it works, I'll write you a ticket, you can move on, just pay it tomorrow. <clears throat> but what happens on my mom's side, they like to help, and they like to include everyone, and they don't understand this idea of just leaving well enough alone. The other cousins that were already pretty drunk, in some cases, had alcohol with them, they kept coming up, and they kept saying, well, well, you know, what's going on here? They kept trying to help the situation and, log and you know, think log logically about it. The problem is, they're hammered. They're not thinking properly anyway, so apparently my cousin Jackie was trying to kind of walk past quiet and nondescript. The problem is she had been given three bottles of alcohol by different cousins, and at one point while she was walking past, they clanked together, you know, like, clink. 
And the cops just, their, their radar went off and they heard that and like, hey, you. That it wouldn't have been, and they called her over and they wrote her ticket for uh, opening container in public. The one problem is, is that Jackie, Jackie has a lot, a lot of spirit. I guess that's a nice way to say it. The truth is, she sassed back. Which, let's face it, that's, you know, that, that's the one thing you do not do to cops. You do not sass back the police, and she did. But so, at certain points, uh, it was like maybe 30 feet away from the house we were renting, but <laughs> at certain points you could actually hear her talking to the cops. And uh, while they were, you know, bringing up all this issue with her, my cousin Joseph, uh, he had just come back from Afghanistan, but he was pretty drunk too, and he kept... He kept thinking it would be a good idea to tell the cops that he had just come back from Afghanistan. And, you know, the subtlety was lost with the alcohol. At one point I heard him say, I mean, you know, it's kind of tough because, you know, I, uh, I just got back from Afghanistan. I'm in, I'm in the military. And that, that does really help when you're in that upfront about it. I was worried because at one point one of my cousins, uh, cousin Jackie actually, pointed to our house and said, I live right over there. I don't know why you're being so stupid about this. Just let me go home. And I was like, holy shit. They were all there and there were two, two cops out and I was just worried that suddenly this little party of theirs was going to come up on our front porch and they were going to start asking us who had IDs and who had whatnot, and I just did not want to deal with that. So, so I followed the cardinal rule of binge drinking and I got the hell out of there. Ooh. Cousin Jackie ended up getting a summons. She ended up paying a ticket of like $150. Cousin Ke Kevin, who got a ticket for littering because he didn't sass them back. And actually, like I said, the cop was apologizing and being very nice until uh, the other cousin started stepping in. He was given a fine of, I think, $103. And uh, cousin Joe was just kind of threatened with charges of whatever they could think of. And he finally shut his mouth up about being military and serving overseas. It's interesting, but it kind of feeds into this whole idea with my mom's side of the family, at least my age bracket, which is that, you know, we couldn't possibly just hang out and have a few beers. Or we couldn't even just, you know, drink heavily but drink at home. It has to be this this big event where we go to several several bars and we get thrown out when last call is and that, that can't be the end of the night because we have to post-party and we have to pre-party with pre-party drinking games which get us hammered anyway and but that was just the main thing that was what I got film of so that's what it is it's like almost it's almost one o'clock in the morning I'm gonna head to bed I hope you guys enjoyed this little story tale I'm sorry for the hiccups if I can I might re-record this without them Hopefully it'll end up being funny though, and I won't, but I hope you enjoy it. If you do, leave a comment, subscribe, like it. If not, shut the fuck up and find somewhere else to go.